be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to layer sounds in Logic Pro 10. This is going to be a beginner's level video, so buckle your seatbelts. Let's go. Um, first things first, we're going to create a simple pattern. Okay, I'm going to go over here to software instrument. And then under instrument, we can even just do a default patch here. All right, once that pulls up here, basically we're gonna be using this uh, electric piano. You can change sounds by cl clicking on the top left um, over here. It says library, it's gonna, well, it doesn't say it, but it's gonna be the top left button right there. You can choose any of these sounds, but I usually like stay, starting off with like a piano sound. So what I'll do is I'll put that on here. I'm gonna push uh, Command K to pull up musical typing, and I'm gonna play a basic melody. All right, so we're gonna do that basic melody right there. cool so basically we have this melody here it sounds decent it's a basic piano um, or whatever but if you want to make this melody sound a whole lot better what we're gonna do is something called layering all right and this is why you would want to uh, use layering to make your melodies and your 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 instruments and patterns sound better so uh, what layering is gonna be is basically taking this same pattern but uh, basically doubling it and then changing the sound. So um, basically I can come over here and I can push Command D to double and then I can hold down Option and drag this down, okay? This is gonna make us a, a exact replica of um, the first melody we just played, okay? Now with layering, basically I wanna find a sound that will go with this. So I can come over here maybe to this organs and grab an organ, let's see how that sounds now. without it cool thing about layering is you can actually layer it you know however many times you want to I always recommend don't go too many times like maybe don't go past three times um, because you know it can just start becoming overwhelming but say if we want to repeat the process command D Hold down option, drag this down, and then now we can pick some other sound. Let's let's go with like a synthesizer. So it's a simple video, but I did want to go ahead and cover it. Um, for those who are just getting started, you want to know what layering is, how to layer, why you should do it. This is pretty much the video for you. Again, we're just going to um, go over what we covered. Basically, what layering is, is the process of taking a pattern and um, duplicating it, but just changing the actual instrument sound. Also, with this pattern, you can layer how many times you want. We recommend only doing you know up to three times on the duplication because it can become overwhelming. But um, it's done to basically help you, you know, with your patterns and your melodies to make them sound a whole lot more rich, more full, um, and you know less basic or weird, whatever. If this tip helped you out at all, let me know. Appreciate y'all watching, and make sure that you go check out my site and the links um, below. We have courses that you can download and, and, and get from our site. We also have um, kits. These are royalty free loop kits and, and drum kits. Make sure you go ahead and uh, check those things out. Um, just go to the site, beatmakingbasics.com. We got a lot of stuff in store for you. Also got a one-on-one -on -one beat making lessons 
uh, deal here. Basically, it'd be a live Zoom call with me. Ask me anything you want, and you know, pretty much we'll get we'll get your questions answered. Anyway, y'all appreciate y'all for watching. I will see you in the next video, and we're out.